Hey guys, and welcome back, oh my gosh, to another exciting video, another adventurous video of Calibrated Gamer. Let's jump into it, I've waited way too long. No, wait, wrong, <laughs> I already messed up. Hold on, <laughs> ignore that, run the intro again. Hey guys, and welcome back to another exciting video of Calibrated Gamer. Let's pretend like that didn't happen. Here we go. I want to separate my um, actual base playing account from my YouTube account. But oh my goodness, hi! It has been literally uh, two years <laughs> since the last time that I've streamed to Twitch tv slash calibre gamer or that i've recorded videos for youtube.com slash user slash drew for 29 aka calibre game and i'm so excited so insanely excited to play the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. <laughs> I love it. I got goosebumps. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Okay, so like, there's a reason I don't have a webcam right now. Oh, I can tell you now. Okay. Ooh, look at all my health. I bet that's about to change. <laughs> Ooh. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Uh oh. People have been falling ill. I After love the sound the effects. Drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up Hold from on, beneath, sorry, I'm gonna move my mic real quick. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Do we? each other I'm just kidding <laughs> okay there we go testing one two three Lord, you know what whatever okay let me tell you about my day <laughs> uh okay so I had this huge plan planned out to use my webcam and to have my stream deck and to you know have an amazing new stream of this brand new amazing game so excited for it so stoked and then of course lo and behold okay running too far ahead lo and behold the usb hub that i was trying to use to get all these extra um bits and bobs working uh, kept dying on me. I even bought a new one and turns out it's not the USB hubs fault It's the USB port of my laptop uh, My laptop's just really old. I have no money for a new one. So you know what if you if you'd like to donate <laughs> I don't know if this uh, Link Works anymore. Nope, that's to JDRF, but that's fine. You can also donate to you know, help fight type 1 diabetes. That's probably more important. But anyway, I, um, yeah. I, uh, don't have money to buy a new laptop, of course. But, um, my webcam's not working because of it. And... The Master Sword is sensing something. Whip it out, Link. Go on. It's just us. I won't tell anyone I saw your Master Sword. But out. Cha-shing. Ooh. Little salmon of bar. 
That like access to moves and stuff? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Link, look here. Ruins from an ancient civilization. Hey, something's written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? <gasps> ba, 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 ba. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I don't need to be stopped every few seconds. These carvings. I'm sure. I don't know why I give her that voice. I'm sure there's Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to live long ago, time of the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had prosperous civilization in the sky. Hopefully we don't screw anything up by being down here, Link. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. We're still unbeknownst. Something I didn't read. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, Zelda. I adore you. You're adorable. And I love you and Link's freaking uh, interaction. I need you to stop stopping me. This is what the Zona look like. They seem so different from us, with such large ears. How the ruins of a civilization from the sky end up underneath the castle? Looks like the path goes ahead even linker. <laughs> even linker. Even deeper. Let's continue, Link. I know how to play Breath of the Wild, please. <laughs> Alive again. <laughs> You're not hurt, are you, Link? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, babe, I'm hurt. Why don't you kiss it? Make you feel better. Look at these murals. Ganon. I love this. I'm, it's crazy. So the reason I um booted up the game straight for the, the menu is because I was going ago. to boot up, like, you know, settings and whatever. It was a conflict whatever. between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. But, uh, needless to say, um, I tried to boot it up earlier and it went straight to story and I was like, possible? oh, nope. Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> I love, love, love that they're using this Zelda. similar to the statues we saw earlier. Zonai. That we're using Zelda These to kind of tell like the story of the time loop that is the this Legend of Zelda series. This certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. She's so cute with her big ol' eyes. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be why, uh, of why the omni power ominous the music been? Kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. That's not the Triforce. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Look at the size of that wing! <laughs> Sorry. This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link! This is a huge discovery. She's adorable. <laughs> Holy crap. All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. <laughs> you point it and click. I love oh. that it's not just a camera on the end. It's like it a... Um, like the rest of the murals are obscured. It's like an eye that's kind of like, eh, whatever. 
Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more. Even though I can't ahead. get my webcam to work, even though I can't get my um, Steam Stream Deck to work, and all that is super crazy annoying. Like I was really upset this morning. Man, I even bought this really cool green Link beanie. And, uh, it's not Link per se. It's just a big long green beanie. And I even bought like freaking this really nice space button down shirt that looks like purple outer space stuff um but you know here i am playing a brand new game and i've got a day off work today to do so so at the end of the day i can't complain i even took the dogs to the groomers um so i don't even have to like worry about taking care of them anymore. so all in all you know i'm i'm just glad to be here Let's continue. We must be very careful. <laughs> okay! What else would I do to say not yet? I didn't see any chests or anything. I severely doubt anything in this area is going to be worth grabbing that, like... <gasps> Dehydrated Ganon. Oh, man. I was going to do this whole bit with chat GPT where I talked to, talk to it like it was Frobot. And I had been training it up to know the backstory of Calibre Gamer, know the backstory of Frobot, and I was so excited! But then I didn't realize that chat, BG, chat, chat GPT starts erasing its own memory of, like, conversations at a certain point, so it just seemed pointless. I was like, man, I'd only be able to talk to him for a few minutes, and then he just forget who he was, and I'm like, that's not... Okay, that's cool. Stay hydrated! You should really stay in your lane! Ah, my lane! Ah, I should stay hydrated! My arm! No! Bro, that hurts! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily. That's freaking terrifying, I love it. Cannot save you from me. Zelda. No, um I think you were thinking of someone else. Sword. A link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? And Uncle Robu! Next time on Dragon Ball Z! Oh no. Here we go, gang. I don't know where the frick she went, but that was really cool. Okay! Creepy zombie hand is my new friend. <laughs> Not only am I so excited for this new game coming out, but literally I had five um, co-workers in different departments at my work also take this Friday off to play this game <laughs> on the day of release. Holy crap. So in the trailers and stuff, uh, me and my buddies were talking about this game and talking about, like, just um, trying to understand what the timeline was of everything. And from the trailers, it made it look like the pieces of the sky had fallen, the pieces of the skylines had fallen down, and that Hyrule had already begun rebuilding. 
So we thought the game would actually take place, you know, months after some cal calamitous event, right? Another one. Um, but, obviously, we just caused this event. Now, I don't know if time has passed. I don't know if we've fallen asleep. You know, whatever. Another hundred years have passed. Dang it! Okay. So the creepy zombie hand has fused with my corrupted arm. Freaking love the design. Oh, and the long hair! I've seen that in the trailer, and I was like, Holy crap. I've got a woman's hand. Finally. Link, finally you wake. Hello? Freaking love that my arm glows. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. No. -uh. Uh, yeah, huh? The wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. It only took a short 100 years. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Dang, I love it. Friggin' robot arm. I love that it didn't just, like, burn it. It, like, corroded it. So, I mean, horrible to see the Master Sword... But I love it. We saw this in the trailers. That was the most depressing item grab sound effect I've ever heard in my entire life. Okay, you can't tell me you got that set to some sort of, like, weapon sheath thing, dude. There's... Okay, I see. It's not very visible from that side. I thought you just had it on your skin. Man, one hit point? That, that's like lower than any weapon from the previous game, I'm pretty sure. Hello? Love it. What if I put my robot hand in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Ooh. I love it. I love it. Because, okay, so we've got different things happening, right? Instead of seeing Sheikah stuff that we saw previously, we're now seeing Zonai stuff, right? So you've got some different types of runes, like, you know, runic symbols, right? You've got different um, designs that are very similar to the Sheikah, but different. And then, I forget what it's called. I keep wanting to call it Aurora Borealis. <laughs> At this time of day, this time of the year... Uh, uh, Aerobus? Aerobus? I, I forget how to say this thing. It's in the, um, design of the logo for the game. It's the never-ending snake that eats its own tail and, like, forever and ever. It's, it's a symbol of just infinite looping nonsense. If I know... I don't know if I should go this way. How long have I been asleep? Can I climb that? Did you just open the door? Yeah, the game's like, don't worry, this is how you jump. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Let's try not to drown this early in the game. Oh, maybe I gotta wrap, wrap around or something. I don't know. I used to having a A button to jump diving point thing. <laughs> Maybe that was always in the games. I don't think so though. So cool. And points! And the crowd goes wild. What an amazing dismount. Alright, Link is going up for another dive. Here he goes. He's staring down the diving board. That's pretty pretty professional. Alright, here we go. Going for the dive! Oh, minor splash. 
Oh, that's at least 11 points right there, folks. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. And treasure chest for his travels. Oh, cool. Love it. I was talking to my buddy Josh Brobitz. Fame and fortune, right? And um, he was telling me how he's in Japan. So when this game came out, you know, he um, it was like 11 o'clock at night here. Um, but he was, I guess, kind of starting the day there, right? So he's already put in a ton of time into it. And he was so excited this morning when I woke up. So, I mean, he was really far into it. He had said it's like replaying Breath of the Wild for the first time. And I'm so excited. That was, it's, it, Breath of the Wild has been one of my favorite games of all time. Wow. So to relive it. It's cool! <laughs> Jesus, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? I don't have my freaking paraglider. Ooh, dragon. Ah, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm trying not to scream and like blow out the mic, but I'm so stoked. Holy crap. Apparently, the devs got onto the leads of the teams because there were way too many Sky Islands in this game. Uh, and even though, like, it, that's for real, I think they said it as a joke in an interview. So hopefully, it wasn't, like, such a big deal that, you know, it caused discontent among the team, obviously. What we, here at Caliber Gamer, we hate game crunch. You know, we want devs to have all the time they need to complete things. But at the same time, I'm so freaking stoked to see all the Sky Islands. Awesome. Wow, I mean, you know... Brand new... Brand new world to explore. Even though, like, yeah, it's still Hyrule. Shut up, internet. We know that. That's not the point. My first tree branch. I shall use this weapon well. It's, it's, it's stronger than the Master Sword. That makes me want to cry. Guys room. Uh, hello? I see you. What's your deal? Oh. Hi. All right, let's see if I can dust dust the rust off. Will you attack me without a weapon? Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Nice. So that was a Zonai construct. Apparently, they're the new main enemies of the game. You still you're still gonna have like Bakoblins and, and all that nonsense. Um but apparently instead of having to I, I don't know if we're still having to deal with the Sheikah like guardians. I imagine not, right? Because we defeated Calamity Ganon and that was like the whole point was that they used to be Sheikah owned. That logo Okay. Uh, hello? Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah! This is the Pura Pad. Oh, shut up. I want the sleek Sheikah Slate. <laughs> I was talking to the chat GPT yesterday as Robot, and I was convincing him, I was like, hey, since you're a robot, you love robotic things. And then I was like, in Breath of the Wild, there's a character named Cherry. And I was like, well, okay, not really a character. It's the name given to the ancient oven, but it's effectively a robot, so that should be your favorite character, right? And Frobot, like, makes sense to me. And then I was like, okay, so who's your favorite character in Breath of the Wild? And he was like, oh, the Sheikah Slate. I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing. That's like way funnier than what I was trying to make you say.
Like, I'm so glad you're smarter than me. But then, of course, after talking to it for like 30 minutes, the the conversation was going away. If I can find something more long term, I would love to chat with an AI uh, and like build him up to be Frobot. Uh, man, he had my whole backstory for my character and everything. I'm so disappointed. Um, my records indicate that Princess Zelda is a white uh, arriving on the location marked on your map. My message has been delivered. We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now is the lonely place. No one v v v No one v v v v No one visits anymore. Can I get a what? what? All right, thank you, fella. I don't want to hit you and get in trouble. Danger! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I immediately regret. Cool boy. All right. So instead of the Sheikah slate, we now have the Pure Pad. Same setup. Oh, the pictures that Zelda took. What a great idea. Oh, I'm so excited. Here's the thing, right? I'm streaming this live on Twitch. And I'm going to post it to YouTube. And maybe uh, people will find it and love it. Maybe they won't. Honestly, I have nothing more interesting to add than other YouTubers would probably already add already, so... Needless to say, even if this doesn't work as a series, I'm going to play the heckin' heck out of it um, as I go along. Because I am so freaking stoked. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not trying to gently put you down. Oh. I'm sorry. The soldier constructs. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai were created to... who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It's crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Maybe up. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. I won't. You guys are cool. I love, I love that. I love that these stewards are like, or these constructs in general, but the steward constructs are intelligent enough to realize I'm not a threat to them and to the land. So they're like, you know, whatever. But then the soldier constructs are just like, kill. <laughs> kill, destroy, maim. Oh, crap! <laughs> My first hot footy frog. I think I'll take a bite. I can't do an apple crunch sound effect, otherwise that would have been really gross. <laughs> Hello. Prepare to die. Gotta work on my timing. Ba boom Alrighty. So we're back. I mean, like, so seriously, this game is set up exactly like Breath of the Wild, control-wise. Um, so needless to say, it feels like putting on an old faithful pair of gloves. Same time, the visuals, the, like, the distance in which I can see things, the views, definitely brand new territory. Awesome. Okay. Hear me. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get used to the trying to get remembering the controls. Oh yeah. Need Oh I can sort him from here, that's cool. Ow, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Long stick! Long stick! Ah, 
I need to be more careful. <laughs> Not mentally prepared to take on three dudes at once. Oh yeah. Oh, I can I can access uh, items now from like the quick menu. That's cool. Nice. Just gonna eat. Alrighty. I'm not used to, uh... <laughs> Look, I haven't played Breath of the Wild in a hot minute. I didn't even want to play it before playing this. Um... Because I just... I didn't want to be worn out by it, you know what I mean? But also, like, because of that... I'm lost. Ah, oh, freaking fireplace! I should Um... I'm a little lost in the controls. And I'm not used to having such a low, like, stamina and health, but it's okay. Were you alert by dishes, delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by the fire. Yep, yep, yep. And roasted ingredients. I do not eat, but I'm given understanding it improves taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we don't have a cooking pot, but we can place ingredients by the fire in order to um, cook them up. Can I just like use the quick menu? I put it like directly on the fire. I need to be careful. So I only dropped one at a time. If I do, uh... okay. I still can only hold five items. I'm gonna drop them right about yeah. Careful. I I grabbed some of those a little too early. I was <laughs> I didn't want to burn anything. You know what? Fine. It's probably just as quick as anything else. That's good enough. Alright. Awesome. Oh, okay. So this thing right here, up here, is for specific items, not for food, per se. Um, I know that has to do with the new, um, construction mode thing, right? But it's interesting that it doesn't allow you to grab anything, just the basic materials that you can use to craft other things. Which means that any of that stuff can be used, which is kind of insane to think about. Like, what would happen if you put an apple on the end of an arrow? Uh, spoilers, obviously, if you're watching this. But, um, this game uh, has this crazy new thing where you'll be able to combine stuff with one another, which is why I titled this episode uh, something along the lines of Link and Zelda, Nuts and Bolts. Just like, uh... Oops. Just like uh, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. You annoy me. Um. Hit me. Don't hit me. Hit me. Alright, um, but like in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, you can make cars and stuff by combining items together. And so I was like, oh, haha, like, you know, it's Linky and Zelda Nuts and Bolts, ha huh? Um, but yes, that's the whole mechanic of this game. But, um, that would mean, to me at least, that these items should be able to be combined with other stuff, which is really neat. Makes me wonder what the purpose of some of those com combinations will be. Here we go. Open the green hand, Link. Use your green hand. Like a stranger. Oh no. Uh, 
But my hand is blue. That door will open not red. With sufficient power. <sighs> I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Oh snap, that's hilarious. I am wrong. I love their designs! Oh, they're like little cat people! I love them! Freaking Raru, that's awesome that he gave me his, like, zombie arm. Me for appearing to the you same see. arm that he used to basically banish Fortunate whatever that dude was. No have a physical form. It's okay, man. I, I talked to, like, 12 ghosts in the in last game. Case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. I got it! Best Buy! Why not visit the shrine? They're having a clearance right now on Guiding Light! The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Oh, the freaking shrines again. Fine. All right. My main objective. Gotcha. I, I like I like the design. You know, I mean, it's very similar to the last one. They sped up some things. You know, more of a quick zoom in, out, whatever. I like it. They, they did a really great job. Now I'm gonna have more of these boogaloos to deal with. And I don't have a parasol, so I need to be careful about making those uh, flying leaps like I was just about to do. Luckily, midair, I'm like, oh, I need to land on this. Did you just shoot me with a freaking arrow? Hey, look, freaking arrows. Yes. Just trying to remember. It's slowly but surely coming back to me, thankfully. Um, I need to stay hydrated, otherwise I'm going to end up like dehydrated Ganon. What the heck? Is this a rail? I want I want to grind it. How do I grind it? Don't tell me what I know. I know how to do this. Can I can I shield grind this? Oh, oh, please, please, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> Woo! The game didn't tell me or nothing. I'm a genius. <laughs> that was awesome. Freaking so cool. Oh my god. I saw in trailers that you could grind, like, minecart tracks and stuff, and I was like, uh-uh. The game didn't even tell me, I just did it. That's amazing. This dude's like, whoa, you got here, like, stupid fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, 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 wood cutting. I got you, I got you. <clears throat> Ooh. Why the outline? <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice you catching that sick air, bro. I don't know if anyone heard that thunder just now. <laughs> Severe thunderstorm is coming in. I want to ride this. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> I guess I should actually, like, follow the guiding light. Um, did I screw myself by coming over here? 
I don't, I don't have like a parasol. Ah, oh, I wasn't supposed to come over here. <laughs> I feel like I've, I messed up. Okay, wait, 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 I can go over here. <laughs> I mean, you know, the reason Breath of the Wild is such an amazing game, and the reason why this is going to end up becoming my favorite game is because they really, really just want you to have freedom of play. Like, um, if you're playing a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, the YouTuber Doug Doug uh, made these uh, connections in my brain, and I highly recommend you check out his videos on it. But basically, there's different types of adventure games like this to play. There's games like Red Dead Redemption 2, where the story is insanely cohesive and all there, and it's like, holy crap, like, enjoy this, like, huge, you know, advanced story, you know, and it's like, wow, that's amazing. And it's like, yeah, but, like, I want to kind of just explore. And it's like, oh, well, no, no, you don't. You know, you just, you really just want to do the story bits. It's like, well, I mean, I kind of want more than that. And then Breath of the Wild is more like, you know, oh, you want story? Well, okay, here's the uh, the main bit. Save the princess. It's like, okay, cool. Uh, now what? It's like, oh, uh, just do whatever you want. And it's two very different ways to go about it, but I love it. I don't think I can make this jump. I, I think the game is, I think I'm going to die, and the game's going to be like, why don't you try this instead? Wait, I have, okay, I've got to be able to make a bridge, right? This is what has happened, and we did. Oh, no! <laughs> the game's going to be like, no, idiot, make a bridge. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I wanted to, game. Is there? Okay. Let's climb the long way around. Mmm, stamina shroom. Mushrooms is what I meant. Oh, I'm just so excited to be playing this game. I gotta remember, I'm a little boy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not big man Link like I'm used to being. I'm 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 baby boy Link right now. So I gotta be more careful. Can't even run. Um, let's eat some delicious apes. Nice. Give me your power! Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Oh! Mmm, that's awesome. If this is all that's loading... Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, come on, there's gotta be a loading screen. There's no way they optimize the game that well. I was like, is this the next, is this the next freaking Jack and Daxter? Not bad, though. Cool, cool as crap, right? A shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges... Pur, 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 pur. I believe this light will restore the ability in your arm. Give me all the abilities. I'm so soaked. Gentle piano. Yes! Freaking yes! Alright, that's all I need. I'll see you later, loser! <laughs> Use Ultra Solo! <laughs> I had him talk a little too late. It's okay. <laughs> Ended up being funnier. Yes! Oh, Magnesis! Magnesis for the win! Okay, so we're, we got basically Magnesis, only instead of just metal, it's like, hey, do you want to control everything? Here you go. I want to knock this down. 
Nope. Wait. Holy crap. I can attach things. Uh... Man, I gotta consider... Building possibilities. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't long enough. Oh, that's so cool! I'm so excited! Okay, okay, okay. Let's build. Lincoln Zelda nuts and bolts. Activate! Super glue! Big boy! Big boy! <laughs> Alright, rotate. Ah, okay. Vertical rotation. Ah, okay. Figuring it out, slowly but surely. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so neat! And you can do that with like pretty much anything in the game! I'm so stoked! Give me that chess! I want it! I'm going to combine it! No! What the heck? Oh. Idiating. Weird. Give me this! You're mine now. I'm taking you through the rest of the game. <laughs> Freaking awesome. The fact that you could do this on like stone instead of like just metal. I mean, that just reveals how confident they are. They're like, yep, do whatever you want. All right, now you're getting attached to this. And you're coming with me. <laughs> I've got the greatest weapon in the entire game! Master Sword! Never heard of her! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop screwing around. For now! Hilarious! Holy crap! What, what is that? I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Okay, so obviously I can rail grind that. Um, obviously that's not what they want me to do. They want me to build a uh, thing. They're saying if I connect one of these to the wood, then I can do that. I can't climb this though, so I wouldn't be able to roll grind it. I don't have a paraglide. All right, all right, all right. So what we're gonna do, let's just start from scratch. Got our wood, plank, right? Yay. Got our, uh, Hook. Oh, I gotta unstick it. Oh, you just you just wiggle the stick to unstick it. That's hilarious. So uh, we need rotation. Okay. Catch it. And put this here. And get onto there like so. Oh oh oh! Here we go. Let's go! Let's hecking go! <laughs> Woo! I gotta be careful. Physics are definitely a thing in these games. I don't want to fling myself. That was fun. Oh, I'm so stoked. The fact that, I mean, like, it's literally just like reliving the first game. Oh, no, uh... <laughs> no dried up corpses to give me the things now? Time to hydrate. Take your sip of water, kids. Whoa! Gnarly! Nice. I'm trying not to skip anything, but come on. I want to play more game. Nice. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I love, I love, you've got that classic, uh, uh, design of characters that everyone hates, where the male, uh, furry critter is, like, basically a cat, 
and the females are just sexy ladies with cat ears. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's the exact same thing that everyone complains about. I expected the old man to go, hi, and like glide in. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you restored an ability. Great work. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be open the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in your distance with pins. Use the scope, idiot. Hey. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. I know how to play. That shrine. Shrine. Uh. Uh, cool. I mean, the Shrine Lone Times wasn't bad. I mean, you know, no worse than Breath of the Wild, sir. Oh, okay, so now I can build those things to, like, combine that. I Instead of, like, <laughs> real grinding like I did. Well, I don't know where the next one is. I mean, where another one is besides that one. Oh, is that it? I bet you there's multiple. I bet you, I mean, like, that I could, maybe only two I can reach right now, but. I love the idea of if it's safe to dive off of into water or into sky, the game is like, yep, go for it. Like, it actually tells you instead of, like, you just taking leaps of faith every time. That's a great, um, life change. To make this one better. Busted! Oh crap! D don't come to my office right now! I'm I'm in a Zoom meeting! <laughs> my help desk guy took the day off to play too. Speaking of, I'd better get back to covering both of our desks. <laughs> it's good to see you, buddy! One of my co-workers. Bye, Goose. Mongoose. I never know to call you Goose or Mongoose. I always want to call you Goose because it's just shorter. Obviously, Diamond Goose, you know, Mongoose. Anyway, um, good to hear from you, bud. Have have fun at work. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, uh, I know who you're talking about that, uh, ditched today to play this game, because he and I were talking about it. <laughs> um, our bad. Lightning bigs? No! I wonder what's the difference between calling them lightning bugs or fireflies, right? I wonder if it's like more... Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> Look, I know... I know in this game there are... Uh... I figured that was going to attack me. I know in this game there are more Koroks, okay? Like, I'm not... I'm not... Uh... Unfortunately, I was revealed to that early through TikTok spoilers, right? But at the same time, I'm like... It's, it's not even that I don't believe it to be true, I just... Okay. <laughs> it's just that, you know, I'm like, oh god. Please, no more Korok seeds. I beg of you. Okay, so I don't think I can get there from there. Maybe? I really need to go that way, but I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Fun. Can't. I. Anyway. I don't want your chicken legs no more. Oh, that must be one of the places I came in from. Normally I'm not like going out of my way to do bug collecting, but it is good to have some ingredients. What? That looks weird. Uh, go, go, Power Rangers! Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Try that again. Go, go, Power Rangers! 
Okay, that was anticlimactic. All that just to destroy my sh sh my shield some more. I don't think I'm going the right way. I mean, granted, again, it's a game of freedom. There's no wrong or right way. Oh, they. Uh, that's a shrine. Is that one of the shrines? Yeah, that's one of the shrines I saw. Okay. Sure. Can't do that. Uh, I'm really going the wrong way. I guess I should look at the map, huh? Instead of just, like, blindly. So I can go there and around and there. I imagine I really am supposed to go, like, from there down. So let's... Can I not teleport yet? Uh, I screwed myself. Okay, so I gotta pay attention. Just because map shows Sky Island doesn't mean that it's beneath me. It may be very much above me. But now hold on. There's that. Can I loop around? Does this actually connect? Not to that, it doesn't. Oh no, 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 that's way further. That's like way over there. Okay, so I can loop around here though. And. <laughs> Look, unless I can ride you... Can I ride you? Are you a chocobo? Unless I can ride you, stay out of my way. I want to try now. <laughs> I want to try now. It's okay, buddy. Nope. Nope, nope. I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cool, right where I was. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, that's fun. I forget I can combine things. Not that there's anything readily available to combine, but I mean I've got stones and stuff, right? So I just got. It begins. It begins. No. You're not Hestu. Shut up, you know me. Stop giving me your poops. The, the literal, the freaking devs of the last game revealed that yes, they are indeed giving us poops. And if you collect all of them, you realize that because Hastu gives you a big old poop uh, of his own to reward you, right? Kind of a middle finger to the player. And, <laughs> you know, let's say, knowing that, the fact that they went right back to it is hilarious. Okay. I saw, yeah, I saw snowy peaks. This makes sense. Man, this game, re I mean, huge. I mean, I know Breath of the Wild was always big. I don't, I don't know why I thought it would pull punches. Like I'm about to have to climb this thing and about to have to make a make a chili pepper. Uh, Meal, so I don't freeze to death. Ah, knew there was gonna be a cooking pot nearby. Get out of my way, dude. I can't hold any more melee weapons. I need to drop my weakest ones. Fun. Drop you. Drop you. <laughs> Not gonna drop the master sword. Okay, stop it. Nope, 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 nope. So what I want to do is I want to mark this with a pen. 
Okay, they added a lot more stickers. Looking pot. All right. Okay. Let's see here. What do I got? Okay. I love that so much of the game, they didn't have to change. Like, obviously, why would you need to change the music for freaking cooking? It was perfect in the first game. And that just, like, gives them so much more time and effort to work on the things that we actually really wanted them to change. You know what I mean? And to fix, like, life improvement stuff that only this game would need you to fix. Okay. We got, like, 12 minutes of, uh, I mean, more than that, but from this first dish I'm about to eat. Consume the dish! That was a very weak old resistance. Is it enough? Now we might make my way around. At least with all these zonai, I'm guaranteed to get some, like, cool, uh crafting elements for upcoming, like, items and things. Come at me, bros! I've got to practice my timing. practice come on Good. so with the swirly things that's really an awesome time to, to grab it I guess I should also be practicing my shield parry that was what I always had the hardest because the timing of that can be like really unforgiving sometimes if you're not like paying attention uh, and that's how you deflect, like, lasers and stuff, so... Definitely need to get good at that, too. And not climb that. <laughs> that's just not happening. Um... <clears throat> Here... So, I don't know what all I can and can't combine. It seems like, though, if I were to cut these trees, I bet you I could combine them. Not that that would really prove any benefit, except for, like, maybe creating a ladder to climb up, you know what I mean? Um, but that seems like a lot more effort than this game wants me to do. Like, right now. Ooh. Yay! Play area! I love it! That's how I want to get up there. I want to do that. I, I was going to climb like an idiot. I want to use a raft. Hello! Making rafts, I see. Confirming raft and Zunai device operational status. Ah, pardon my rudeness. Heck yeah! Hmm. Okay, okay. I got my first energy cell, but I've only got one. I gotcha. 
I wonder if that limits the amount of Zonai, like, items I can use. Because I was, like, legit about to just, like, plug five of these motors to one raft. But I'm wondering if I'll only be able to control one at a time. I'm thinking that's the case. Yeah, yeah. He said, what did I just say? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll just use it as intended. Boom! Here we go! Let's go! <laughs> I love it. Alright, so I've got an energy cell where I can control, like, one Zonai construct item at a time. Really good to know. Oh my gosh, these kingdoms have so many tears. How's it going? <laughs> hey, free. Yes. The tears of the kingdom are real. Um, horrible timing on their part to release a game of that name and to drop the name, you know, the, the day after uh, a certain kingdom was full of tears, but it's okay. You know, they weren't trying to do that. Just poor timing. <laughs> Welcome. How's it going? I am already an hour into this game. I freaking adore it. Already my new favorite game of all time. Much. Oh, you beat the crap out of this dude. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I gotta pay attention to the fact that it's not really timing as much as it's distance. I need to step up my game. All right, so we got another pot. I am gonna cook some more. Well, I don't need to. I'll come back if I need to. Sometimes I don't know if I'm supposed to... Yep. Figured. I saw the slick. I was like, mm, wait. Is this what you want me to do, game? You want me to struggle up it? That's not happening. That is very much not happening. There a part of you that isn't slick with ice? Can't really... Oh! Can't really interact with the water! Oh! <laughs> I was like literally staring at it in the face. Why would the part closest to the waterfall not have ice? I was literally making a joke about that in my brain, like, maybe I should go to the waterfall where the ice is the most consistent. <laughs> okay. It's alright. Gather your breath. Let's go! What? Another shrine in the bank. I like to mark, uh, you know, um, cooking pots on my map, in case I ever need them. You never know when you're, like, hurting and got one nearby. Or when you're about to freeze to death in five minutes. You need a quick fix.
All right. Guten Tag. Hello. All right. Now let's see how quick the load time is. It's not going to be like insane or anything. I love that it shows you the map. I do. I do really like that. Um, no, I mean, that was pretty dang quick. I wanted to see how fast it was without this cutscene. Granted, the cutscene sold. But <laughs> give me another. Yes, give me another ability. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. <laughs> I've never been so excited to get these, like, rune abilities. In the first game, I was, like, super soaked too. But I don't know. Something about it is just, like, get to relive it. It's so great. Oh! Oh, Ascend! Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Mm. <laughs> this move is pretty sick, bro! Let's you travel directly above you to ascend through and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all mm. sorts of situations. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, this, this move is so freaking cool! Okay, let's get ability to rise. Interesting. So as soon as I grab it, it's like what's above me. Ascend! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, um, by the way, the world pretty much freezes or slows down when you're like doing that, I think. If I remember correctly. So there's actually like some benefits to it. Yeah, 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 look. That's hilarious. You can kind of determine where you are, like what's going on around you, if it's beneficial to come out now. I wonder if, um... Oh, that's so useful! In the previous game when it's like, oh, you're, you're too full on items, it would just like kick you back out of the um, chest. But now you can just drop it straight away. That's awesome. I don't know why I dropped that compared to this kick. Okay, so if I want to go back... That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright. So if I'm like, oh, nope, danger. Not good. Shut up. Get out of my way. You're dead, boy. Haha. <laughs> I was wondering if your eye was going to be a weak point. I don't know why the uh, tools, the, the axes, are um, special color. I see you, game. Ooh. Neat. Oh, I'm going to love this. Ooh, construct bow. Made of fireproof materials. I can't really... Uh, I can't really go back down, huh? And I get it. Shrines don't have roofs. Can't escape a shrine that way. Ooh, can I do this? That's clever girl! I love it! What a great idea. <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you. I am a genius, I know. I bet I can't ascend through this. Or maybe I perfectly can. I bet I couldn't have reached that, though. Nice. Man, I feel like a big old smart boy. Big old smart handsome boy. Big old smart handsome boy and big old smart. Oh, you so big old, you big old smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me my light a blessing. Heck yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so stoked. And with this ascend ability, I'm gonna have to really consider, like, how quickly I'll be able to climb things now. Like, it's not... You can't use it everywhere. You have to have a ceiling above you, so it's really only good when you, like, got a cave situation. What is that? 
That is not a shrine, but I want to. But I mean, like, look! I can freaking climb into that now! Is that amazing? Why are y'all not amazed? Ooh. I love it. Like, literally just swimming through stuff. Such a great idea. Ooh. I didn't realize uh, the zone I charged stuff I was picking up did not mention. Yes. Did not mention uh, cell, battery cell usage. Ooh. Some sort of gliders. What in the world am I looking at? What? That is a gotcha ball machine. <laughs> Hold on. That's a gotcha ball machine. I uh, I don't think I'm incorrect about that. Hello? Mm. The gotcha ball machine is very popular. Be sure you have tokens on your ready. Don't worry. Uh, only four dollars per token. Oh, you didn't get a new item? That's too bad. <laughs> and I just... Ah. That's awesome. I wonder how high up you can ascend. Like, I wonder, like... I mean, obviously the game's gonna keep that in mind. It's gonna have, like, stuff ready at the available, you know? No, I'm just talking to you. Don't go to sleep. My duties today are complete. Oh, this is a rarity. It's unusual for me to receive visitors. I assume that you require Zonai devices to send them out. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Yes, I match I'm manufacturing Zonai devices using this device dispenser. You see the bowl like receptacle? Resources held in your hands can be deposited there. It accepts resources such as contra horns and Zonai charges for processing. The altitude here is incredibly high. It's no easy task to descend the mountain. That's why I'm preparing wing type Zonai devices. They're useful tools for making your descent. Okay. So, yep, capsules, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the literally gotcha machine. Got it. I mean, that's cool, though. I like it. I don't know, uh... Here, um... I can take that out here. Cut your mouth. Um... Oh. Can I use... Can I use this to give me, like, temporary battery charge? That's hilarious. Me. I don't know if I want to put only one in, five in, who knows. This is hilarious! Oh. Oh. Cool! A Zonai device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. Last for one cooking, cooking one recipe only. Oh, uh, that's cool. Okay, so the wing. Okay, try to try to balance on the center of the wing. Fan, awesome. Oh, cool. Fire. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so this is a gotcha mission. Literally gotcha. Okay. Um, here, I want to play more. <laughs> I'm already addicted. Listen, I have, um, I don't, I don't gamble ever because, uh, gambling, uh, you know, not runs in my family per se, but I just know I wouldn't have any restraint. And here I go, uh, spending all my things because this is fun and I love it. And I am not strong enough not to just give it all my items. Okay, I'm not going to give it my charges, though. I feel like those are a little bit more important. Cool. So now I've got these gotcha balls. Awesome. I ain't going to use one of mine, though. I'm going to use yours. <laughs> I don't know why it, it tickled me to drop it like a paper airplane and watch it just kind of like hello ah, I forgot I don't have a freaking air glider unbearable cold unbearable cold <laughs> okay that's fair
That's fair. That's fair. I, uh, I did that to myself. Man, this is awesome. Okay. Can I... Can I climb you? Holy crap. Holy crap. Wow! I would not have even considered that if it hadn't, like, just, like, dropped me right outside that cave. Man, this is awesome. Man, I'm so stoked. Alright. I think this is a great spot to end episode one. Uh, for those watching the live stream, I will be back shortly. Maybe, like, 10, 20 minutes-ish. For those watching YouTube, I will be back another time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. No, 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 no. Let's, let's figure out this glider situation first, and then we'll end the episode. How about that? Where I need to go? I need to go to where the blue is. Grab this guy. Horizontal rotation. that right uh let's see do i have access to this guy oh okay it didn't i died uh i lost all my little gotcha ball stuff and i thought like i thought it like took them from me i was like what the heck this Killed me before I got him, technically. Fine. Ascend! That's a fun mechanic. I like that a lot. Alright, so let's do... I'm just gonna do enough to get the stuff. Even though I really should just, like, load up on these things, I guess. I mean, if this place isn't marked on my map, let me mark it on my map. <laughs> yeah, as your death. Um, I don't know if anything's supposed to be anything. I needed, I needed at least one wing and one fan. But now I want that portable cooking pot thing. It's like super useful. Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm so addicted. I am going to put in some uh, charges, see if they give me, like, better items or something. Alright. Global pot. I have one in one of those, so once I got two, I'm happy. Okay. Got my glider. I want to add a fan to it. And honestly, I want to, <laughs> I want to add a flamethrower to it. Alright. Let's do, uh, we want the fan, take out the vice, flame emitter, I'm gonna test this out. First of all, <laughs> the way. Honestly, I don't feel safe having it on the back. Yeah, exactly. Do I have these backwards? I feel like I have these backwards. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. To uh, rotate. I'm slowly learning. It's taking me a hot minute. I don't want to be sideways.
Ooh. Okay. More devices mean more uh, usage. Makes sense. I can have all three devices on, but once I turn on one, all of them are turning on. So now, once I pull out an item, can I not put it back in my inventory? Uh, okay. Um. Why? About to kill myself trying to do this. My fruit. Thanks. Listen, I've almost got the idea. I think the idea is really you just kind of want to go for it. Okay. <laughs> that was a waste of two perfectly good fans and a perfectly good uh freaking thing. That's okay. We're learning. How does this work? How do I how do I use it? Is there a reason we've got like tracks going on here? I got you. Put you here. Look, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go! <laughs> Come on! How close is the edge I gotta be? No, no, no! Oh, it's 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 going down the rails! That's fine! <laughs> Well, you know what? Next time on Calibrate Gamer. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. For those on the Twitch stream, I'll be right back. For those on YouTube, uh, check me out on twitch.tv slash Calibrate Gamer. Link is uh, right there on my link tree. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. And unfortunately, this stream is over, but we'll see you very soon. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. We really do. Seems like we're just begun. When and suddenly we're through. Unfortunately. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Goodbye, for now, now it's time to go. I really do hate to say it. But hey, I say. Well, that's okay. That is. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Yeah, super soon. Very soon, I know. Ooh, get it. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. goodbye. And tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Hey, love, robot, and the bro-bits crew. And we'll be ready for you to come and stay. To watch a let's play. Another day. Bye, guys. <laughs>